Members of the Ghana Association of University Administrators, GAWA, on Friday, August 30th, conveyed at the Great Hall of the University of Ghana, Lagon, as part of the association's three-day national congress to review its conditions of service and adoption, as well as swearing in incoming executives. The theme for this year's congress is Balancing Growth and Sustainability in Expanding Public Universities, the Role of GAWA. The Congress saw hundreds in attendance as sister associations including the University Teachers Association of Ghana, UTAG, Teachers and Educational Workers Union, TEWU, Federation of University Senior Staff Association of Ghana, FUSAG, graced the event. Keynote speaker, Mrs. Mildred Asma, a consultant administrator, in her address advised GAWA to view the field of education as constantly evolving, continuously demanding new innovations to be introduced to improve the quality of education. The Vice President for Projects of Graduate Women International, headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland, highlighted the need to leverage artificial intelligence, AI, to ensure growth in skills and enhance efficiency in their works. I know that we are all afraid of being It rather helps us. This uh, speech, I could have made AI do it for me without a problem, without any human intelligence. So, in the same way, when we are writing the speeches for this is the purpose, to be can AI do it. So, we shouldn't fear. There are things AI can do, there are things human intelligence can do. So, we shouldn't fear at all. AI is not going to replace us administrators but make our lives easier. Administrators should be able to leverage AI to gain valuable insights, free their time to focus on the creative human aspects of their goals. The outgoing president of the Ghana Association of University Administrators, GAWA, Dr. Mrs. Beth Ofei Ewoku, on her part, urged members of the association to show greater interest in the many activities the organization engages in. She noted that the diversity of professionals in the association has yet to be fully harnessed, as there still exists significant apathy, which adversely affects group thinking and solidarity within GAWA. Apathy, lack of interest from exception of our membership. Sometimes even when we say aluta and declare a strike, it is right from within us that the strikes don't bite. We need to address that. We need to stand together. We need to break the apathy. And we need to be a force in the universities to reckon The apathy appears to be a result of the threatened breakaway of aggrieved professionals within the association who aim to form a new union. Over 500 members of GAWA, dissatisfied with the compromised conditions of service, particularly concerning their categories, have come together to form a splinter group of professionals, seemingly to advocate for themselves going forward. According to Dr. Mrs. Beth Ofei Ewuku, their leadership has been approached and talks are ongoing to address the challenges of these aggrieved members. Was raised as a concern by the outgoing GAWA president, Dr. Mrs. Beth Ofoi Ewuku explained that there's a significant challenge in the government's understanding of the unique needs of university administrators and professionals. She attributed this to the poor representation of administrative and professional senior members at the governance level within the tertiary education landscape. The government posture has been a threat to us. Poor representation of the administrative professionals, professionals senior members at the governance level in the tertiary education landscape has turned out to be a major challenge in government's appreciation of our unique needs. Leadership of the government agencies are all drawn from the university teaching arm and have skewed commitment to them. We need representation in the corridors of power for the non-teaching senior members to be heard adequately. Chairperson for the Congress, the Vice Chancellor for the University of Ghana, Professor Nana Abba Apia Amfu, called on GAWA members to be more united. She explained that any distortion or breakaway will prevent GAWA from achieving its objectives, including demanding better condition of service. She further advised the Mother Association to be more tolerant and inclusive to avert the impending breakaway. This will not be beneficial. You know? When you are in the process of wanting to break out, we are breaking out and so on. There's so much distraction 
among yourselves that you don't have the energy and the focus to direct you know, the resources where they should go. You know, whether it is government, whether it is uh, VCG, whether it's individual university uh, management. I have seen uh, trade unions trying to break out, break out, and I'm not sure what benefits it has come to them. But in as much as we are appealing to this group to stay put, I think that the Mother Association also has a role to play to make all of these professionals belong, to be inclusive, and they should not feel left out. Sir Apia Amfo further proposed a name change of the association. She suggested that the Ghana Association of University Professionals and Administrators, GAUPA, would be a better fit to address recognition concerns. So, my final proposal is for GAWA to consider renaming itself Ghana Association of University Professionals and Administrators. <laughs> and we are coming with GAWA. That would be a fair step in providing the recognition that indeed Gawa is not only made up of administrators, but there are other professionals as well. Swearing in ceremony saw Dr. And Mrs. Beth of Fei Ooku officially hand over to the UG chapter of Gawa the incoming executives led by Mr. Michael Ousu Ansa to be assisted by his vice, Mr. Philip Kwe. The Ghana Association of University Administrators experienced a nationwide strike from November 29, 2023 to February 8, 2024. The association fought for better conditions of service. After over three years of negotiations, the association finally signed off the first part of its collective bargaining agreement on the 12th of January, 2023, and the addendum on the 10th of July, 2024. There are still some outstanding issues which need to be followed up or factored into the next cycle of negotiations. Gawa has put together a new proposal for ratification at this year's Congress for its next cycle of cost negotiations. Gawa seeks the correction of disparities in the single spine salary structure of university administrators, disparities in the harmonized allowances schedule, reversal of the Advex Ghana Tertiary Education Commission GTEC directive on sabbatical leave, among others.